So I've done a few videos at this point already on various useful websites, but the more that you research deeper into this rabbit hole, the more I realize that I could probably do with another video to share another 10 incredibly useful websites. So with that, let's begin. Number one, wordmark.it. So I'm sure you've had a few creative projects that you've worked on from time to time, and you've occasionally hit a brick wall in trying to figure out which font you should use for a heading or a bunch of text. Well, this site will be able to help you out by displaying all the fonts that you have on your computer, such as a system fonts, as well as any fonts that you might have downloaded. You can then type some text into this preview box to see what the text you type looks like in all the fonts all at once in a single scrollable list. You can also choose to view this site in light mode or dark mode as a nice touch, smaller or larger sizes, as well as different text spacing. I mean, I'm just touching the surface here in regards to this website, but yeah, be sure to check it out. Number two, reshot.com. Now, if you're looking for some icons that you could use in your next project or piece of work to make it stand out that little bit more, then be sure to check this website out. Reshot is a super simple and straightforward site to use, offering various high quality icons without loads of ads shoved in your face. You get a range of formats that you can download in as well, such as SVG and PNG to make sure that you get that transparent background and crisp resolution. But the best bit is that all the icons are free to use and no attribution is required. Not only this, but the search function is pretty robust as well. You can just type anything and Reshot will provide you with the relevant icons. So if you're looking for something a little more cohesive, then be sure to change the search icon to icon packs, which will give you a set of various icons all with a similar aesthetic. And a final note is the fact that you can also search for illustrations as well, which again are are all free to use with no attribution required. Number three, fast.com. Shifting gears a bit, how about we look into the speed of your internet? I'm sure we've all been to Google for Wi-Fi speed tests and gone onto some site with a bunch of ads and an old looking UI. Well, instead of that, check out fast.com, which is super simple to get to and use. Not only this, but your speed is presented clearly to you and you have a few options hidden in the drop down menu as well below if needed. Number four, pexels. Again, probably more on the creator side, but still useful if you want to spruce up a document or anything else digital that you might be working on. And that's the pexels website. It's a free stock images and videos website that requires no account, no attribution, and you can use the stock footage in whatever document or video you like. Compared to other sites, Texels actually has quite a large selection of photos and videos, as opposed to just redirecting you to paid stock footage constantly in the middle of the results to make it seem like there are more results than there actually are. You can also filter your results based on type, orientation, size, and even by the user who uploaded them as well. As you can see here, if I want to find stock images and videos for the word coffee, I simply type it in and I'm provided with a load of results. If I then click on one that I like, I have some options in regards to the size that I want to download the image in, as well as detailed information and metadata about that image as well. Same thing applies to video as well. Number five, Cheapskate. <clears throat> Cheap Shark, not Cheapskate. Anyway, this website is definitely one that you should bookmark if you like to play games. This website will compile various prices of games from various game stores and provide a list of the best deals and discounts that are available across them all, all in a single page. There's also a browse tab available on this website, which will give you more of a table view of various deals and the ability to apply filters and sorting criterion as well. And the final key tab is the search tab, which will allow you to just simply search for a particular game and the site will tell you the general price range of the game, the cheapest place you can get the game now, the cheapest that the game ever was, as well as being able to sign up to email alerts as well. So there is that. Though I will mention that when using this site, be sure to change your currency from this drop down accordingly for wherever you're based. Honestly, kind of annoyed that I didn't find this site earlier as it would have saved me quite a few dollars here and there. Oh, and a final note on this site is that if you go to the about tab, you get a little bit of information information about the site as well as a list of all the game stores that this site supports and tracks if you're interested. Number six, Flight Radar. Now if you're someone who gets on a lot of flights or know someone who does then be sure to check out this website. This website shows you all the flights that are currently in flight all around the world in real time right now. Well not right now because you're likely watching this video sometime after I do the recording which is after I publish it which is after yeah let's stop there. On this map you can zoom as needed, search flights, airports as well as view other key information as seen in the sidebar on the left. There's also a paid version which goes even further with weather details and additional information if you're interested. But yeah, definitely one to bookmark for the record and to keep tabs on flights. Number seven, Goblin Tools. Strange name, I know, but stick with me here, as this is actually a lot more useful than the name suggests. Going onto the website, you have a set of different tabs at the top which break down the functionality available to you. The first is a magic to-do list, which I personally think is one of the least useful parts of this website, but others might find this more useful. Next to that, you have the formalizer tab, which allows you to type some text and then with this drop down, change the tone of your writing for example, so you can change it to be more professional or any of the other tones in the drop down that you see here. The other tabs work in a similar way too. So the judge tab allows you to input some text and this site will judge how your text comes across to the other person. The professor tab will allow you to enter something and the boxes below will provide you with both an explanation as well as an example of the concept. The estimator tab will allow you to estimate the rough time it will take to do something and the compiler tab will allow you to brain dump all your thoughts onto a page and then produce a set of tasks for you to do. And finally, the chef tab will allow you to enter all the ingredients that you 
have and then the site will spit out all the things that you could cook with it. Now the haters will just say that ChatGPT can do all these things and to be honest I agree but the fact that you have these tabs and the easy to use drop downs as well as being able to amend your text repeatedly and quickly might be preferable to some. Number 8 calculators. Now if you need to you know calculate something that doesn't happen to be pure maths then be sure to go to this website which will provide you with a full list of various calculators for a range of different niche things. This ranges from a house affordability calculator, a fat intake calculator, percentage calculators, engine horsepower calculators and even one to calculate the surface area of your own body which is interesting to say the least. You get the idea. Not only this but in each of the calculators you get some additional text regarding that subject matter to give you a better idea of what's going on and what certain calculators mean. Number 9 photo appear. Now what's also pretty useful is photoshop but it turns out that you actually have to pay for that and you know it's not exactly a website so if you're not a fan of the 7c's then be sure to check out the Photopia website which will basically provide you with a free alternative to Photoshop in your browser allowing you to quickly upload a photo and edit right away without needing to install any software. Super handy if you're on some other computer and just need to make some quick tweaks to an image. Oh and while we're on the topic of photo editors I'll also mention the Pixlr editor as an honourable mention as it seems to be quite a bit more modern in appearance and also offers some AI features and whatnot like most things nowadays. So yeah if you want the closest most stock image editor to Photoshop then the Photopia website might be your better option. Number 10 remove background. Now on a topic of editing photos you should definitely check out this next website which allows you to remove the background of any image super quickly. The website is pretty clean and minimal with little to no ads and masks out what you need pretty well. But if you need to make some amendments then you can always sort this out in post by erasing and restoring areas for fine tuning as needed. Not only this but you can then add other backgrounds to your image and effects to your image as well before downloading if you'd like. And if this is still not good enough for you then you can even take this image over into Canva for some further editing. But those are only 10 of the many cool and useful websites that you're likely missing out on so be sure to check out this playlist here containing over 50 useful and cool websites combined anyway like share and subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you later